you know who he is. You people worship the ground he walks on, which is absurd because he's a Neanderthal whose only forms of communication are grunts and boo dogs. What? Go Bulldogs! <laughs> what is wrong with this thing? Here, let me help. No, I don't need a man's help. I mean, that would be great. Not bad for Neanderthal, huh? We haven't spoken in ever. And now you're crashing parties and team service projects and offering to tutor me just cause? <laughs> gotta be a catch. So what is it, hmm? Do you want us to take a selfie or something? <laughs> I do not want a selfie, okay? I'm just a nice person trying to do a nice thing, and if you can't see that, then that's your problem and not mine. Does Jody even like the Ghostbusters? No clue. Well, I just think it would be nice if any of these proposals took into account the girl's interests or life. You know, instead of just being an excuse for the guy to look cool in front of his friends. But that is just me. Can you stop with the dapping? Sorry, but if you're just gonna sit here and talk to me like Miss Allen does, I'm gonna get antsy. Like it's my fault you have the attention span of a golden retriever. Well, this was fun. <laughs> serious? You said it yourself, you get antsy. So let's redirect that nervous energy into something else so you can focus. It'll be like a fidget spinner for jocks. We prefer the term athletes. I'm sure you do. The stereotype threat is where someone does worse academically because they're told they're not good enough. One hits deep. Thanks a lot, Dad. How many two to you? No, I don't play basketball. What? You have to. You said that when we store memories, we store the emotion we felt at the time. And you don't want me to so Do I have permission to touch your arm? Yes. Eyes on the basket. Sink this. It's a nice and side test. No pressure. Hey. Oh, for God's sake, Graham. Put a shirt on. What's the deal with your folks? You guys get along? The person with the ball has to answer the questions. It's kind of the rule of our tutoring sessions. Fine. Uh, yeah, we do, for the most part. Just normal, annoying parent stuff. You? I don't have the ball. I don't have to answer your question. Mm. People don't want to listen to Graham Lansing's daddy issues. I'll listen. Who's your best friend? Ben Plunkett. No Nuts Plunkett is your best friend? Yes, and don't call him that. Who's your best friend? Owen Kirksey. Favorite movie? Nine to five. Favorite book? Unbroken. First kiss? Peter Garcia, seventh grade. Last kiss? Sophie Homan, Kayla's party. Did you think I was just a dumb jock before this? Yes. Did you know who I was before this? No. Why'd you offer to tutor me? Uh, what are you doing? Uh, just showing Graham some pictures. I didn't know you were such a One Direction fan. I was 11, so... <laughs> it's what makes you beautiful, and, uh, we should go. But it was Tom Cruise from Risky Business, and for the next month, she... People just come to me with their expectations of who I am or who I should be, but with you, it's different. Good different or bad different? <laughs> Good different. Aww. Love this man. And I have to have him. Is that a Save the Bees shirt? Is that really what you want to talk about right now? No, no. <laughs> what are you taking a gap year? Just trying to figure out what I want to do, you know? Huh. And, and what you want is here in, in Boston? Yeah. Yeah, it is. There is one other reason. I know. 